Now let's solve one more question on testing the continuity of a function. Find the values of a so that the function f of x given by f of x is equal to ax plus 5 where x is less than or equal to 2 and f of x is equal to x minus 1 where x is greater than 2 is continuous at x equal to 2. And by now you know it very well that a function is continuous at a point if and only the value of the function at that point is equal to the limit of the function at that point. Or in other words, the given function will be continuous at the point x equal to 2 if and only the value of the given function at the point 2 or f of 2 is equal to the limit of the function at the point x equal to 2 or if and only f of 2 is equal to limit x approaches to f of x. And what's the value of f of 2? Now as per the definition of the given function, if x is less than or equal to 2, then in that case f of x is equal to ax plus 5 and which means f of 2 is equal to ax plus 5 or a into 2 plus 5 and which is equal to 2a plus 5. So that means f of 2 is equal to 2a plus 5. And now let's find out the limit of the given function at the point x equal to 2. And now if you look carefully at the definition of this function, then you can clearly see that the value of the function f of x, if x is less than 2, and the value of the given function f of x, when x is greater than 2, are not same. So that means to calculate the limit of the given function f of x at the given point x equal to 2, we shall have to find its left hand limit as well as right hand limit. So let's first calculate the left hand limit of the given function. And the left hand limit of the given function f of x is limit x approaches 2 from the left hand side f of x. And if x is less than 2, then f of x is equal to ax plus 5. So the left hand limits becomes limit x approaches 2 from the left hand side ax plus 5 and which is equal to a into 2 plus 5 and which is equal to 2a plus 5. And now let's find out its right hand limit and the right hand limit is limit x approaches 2 from the right hand side f of x and from the definition of the function if x is greater than 2 then f of x is equal to x minus 1 and that means the right hand limit can be also written as limit x approaches 2 from the right hand side x minus 1 and which is equal to 2 minus 1 or 1 so that means the right hand limit is equal to 1. And now you can see for the given function f of x, its left hand limit and the value of the function at the point x equal to 2, f of 2 are both equal to 2a plus 5. And its right hand limit is equal to 1. So, for the given function to be continuous at the point x equal to 2, its left hand limit, right hand limit and the value of the function or f of 2 must be equal or in other words 2a plus 5 must be equal to 1 or 2a is equal to minus 4 or a is equal to minus 2. So that means the value of a for which the given function f of x given by f of x is equal to ax plus 5 if x is less than or equal to 2 and f of x is equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than 2 is a equal to 
माइनस टू Now let's solve one more question. Find the relationship between a and b so that the function f defined by f of x is equal to a x plus one if x is less than or equal to three and f of x is equal to b x plus three if x is greater than three is continuous at x equal to three. Now, a given function is continuous at a point if and only the value of the function at that point is equal to the limit of the function at that point. So, in this case also, the function f of x will be continuous at x equal to three if and only the value of the function at the point three or f of three is equal to limit x approaches three. f of x so let's first find out the value of f of 3 now as per the definition of the given function if x is less than or equal to 3 then in that case f of x is equal to ax plus 1 so that means f of 3 is equal to a into 3 plus 1 or f of 3 Is equal to three a plus one. And now let's find out the limit of the given function f of x at x equal to three. And from the definition of given function, you can clearly see that if x is less than three, then f of x is equal to a x plus one. And if x is greater than three, then f of x is equal to b x plus three. So, which means the value of f of x for x less than three and for x greater than three are not necessarily equal. So that means to calculate the limit of the given function f of x, we shall have to calculate both its left hand limit and the right hand limit. So let's first calculate the left hand limit of the given function. Now, limit x approaches three from the left hand side. Is equal to limit x approaches three f of x, and as f of x is equal to a x plus one, when x is less than three, so the left hand limit can be also written as limit x approaches three from the left hand side a x plus one, when which is equal to a into three plus one or three a plus one. And now let's find out its right hand limit. And the right hand limit is equal to limit x approaches three from the right hand side f of x, and if x is greater than three, then f of x is equal to b x plus three. So that means the right hand limit can be also written as limit x approaches three from the right hand side f of x b x plus three, and which is equal to b into three plus three or three b plus three. So For the given function, the value of the function at the point three, or f of three, and the left hand limit of the function at x equal to three are both equal to three a plus one, and its right hand limit is equal to three b plus three. And for the given function to be continuous at the point x equal to three, its left hand limit, its right hand limit, and the value of the given function. at the point x equal to 3 must be all equal and this is possible if and only 3a plus 1 is equal to 3b plus 3 or in other words 3a minus 3b is equal to 3 minus 1 or 3a minus 3b is equal to 2 so we can say that the given function f of x given by f of x is equal to ax plus 1 where x is less than or equal to 3 and f of x is equal to bx plus 3 
if x is greater than 3 is continuous at x equal to 3 if and only 3a minus 3b is equal to 2.